What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. These are the final lures I have to show off that I'll be using in the 2020 season and unfortunately I still have about a month left until this ice melts. So I won't have much footage to uh, share with you until then except for the fact that I just got a brand new boat. Definitely upgraded from the John boat. I'll be showing that off in the next video. Um, so let's just stick to the lures for now. I got some super dope stuff to show off today and we'll go ahead and start with the Kytex. These are some smaller swim baits. This is the 3.8 inch size and this works best for me. I just throw these on a 4 out owner or VMC hook with the bait holder on there and uh, I use it weedless style all the time. Produces tons of fish. They're right around $6 a pack and you can't go wrong with those. Next up I got something I've never seen before. This is called a Triple Shad Elite by the Elite Bait Company. Um, this is the Shad Arc Shiner and it's a quarter ounce on a four out hook. Let's go ahead and take this off the package and throw one of these Kytex on there and see what it's gonna look like. So that's the front view. It's got the three uh, swinging willow blades on it. Nice quarter ounce weighted head. And I threw that Shiner Kytex on there. This thing looks pretty promising, and I'm pretty sure this is going to catch a lot of good fish this year. Next up, we got another super sweet lure here. This one is called the Meg Draft by Mega Bass. This is actually pretty cheap uh, for being a larger swim bait. It's only about $11 or $12. It actually has a magnet in there that holds a treble hook onto the bottom. Um, and also, too, it's got a little spot on top, which we'll go over when we open it. You can modify these throwing stinger hooks on them. But I've seen lots of videos on these, and my buddy Cody over at Fish and Picks USA told me this is the thing to get. And the dude catches a lot of big bass, so I'm going to take his word for it. Now let's go ahead and open these up and take a look. The Meg Draft comes in at 6 inches long and weighs one and a quarter ounce. This is the Gizzard Shad color, and I also got it in the Nude Bass color. This one has a magnet actually built in it that just holds the hook steady right there. Um, this one though is a defect right out of the box. This magnet is built a little too far in there and the littlest bump and it comes detached. However, you can stick the hook in there like that and also throw it like that. Uh, this thing's got a lot of wobble to it. Seems very durable, uh, it's very solid. It has another spot up here. You can tie a line to it and put another treble hook in up top as a stinger hook. And I've also seen people put line uh, from this hook to the back and put a stinger in there as well. It also is on a swivel, giving you that extra fighting power uh, when you hook into a big fish. So that is the Meg Draft by Mega Bass, and this thing looks really awesome. I can't wait to throw this, and from what I've heard, it catches monster fish. Next up, we have a super shallow diving square bill crankbait. This one is by Spro, and it's called the Fat John 50. This thing's gonna dive just under the surface to only about two foot deep. It also comes with some Gamagatsu hooks, so this thing's ready to go right out of the box with no modifications. I got this one in the chartreuse, chartreuse black color. It's got a little bit of orange on the bottom. We'll open it up in a second. And I also got it in the black lightning color. These things weigh 3 eighths of an ounce and it looks like the length is 50 millimeters. Let's go ahead and open them up and take a look. These are the smallest square bill crankbaits that I own, but I'm very confident that these are gonna catch a lot of fish, especially during the bedding period. When they're in the shallow water, I think if I crank this right above the bed and just pause it, it's probably going to get nailed 90% of the time. These colors look awesome. I can't wait to throw these. Again, this is the Fat John 50 from Spro. This is the Kick Knocker Pup from Tekel. This is a walking bait. It is a smaller version than the regular Kick Knocker. I know it doesn't say it on the front, but it says it right here. This is definitely the Pup, and this one's in the bone color. I think this is the perfect size walking bait. Um, it has three hooks on there, very tiny. I think I will tr uh, change those out though. I don't know how durable they are, but the sound on this is absolutely phenomenal. And like I said, this is the perfect size uh, and I can't wait to throw this thing. I've seen videos on it and I know this thing gets big blow ups. Last up, we have the Mega Bass Vision 110. This is the money bait. 
It's probably the most uh, popular jerkbait out there. This thing, I guess, has won a lot of tournaments. As you can see, the Benjamin Franklins all over the box. I've heard a lot of hype about this. I know there's tons of knockoff ones you can get on eBay, but I went ahead and went with the real deal. I only got one. This one is the, let's see, the Ito Wakasagi color. And this is just the regular 110. They make a 110 plus one and a 110 plus two that go a little deeper. But I just went with the mega, <clears throat> I'm sorry, the regular money bait 110. Let's go ahead and open it up and get a better look at this. So here it is. This thing looks pretty sweet. Looks like a regular jerk bait. Um, it's got a slightly smaller bill than what I'm used to throwing. It's got three treble hooks on there that look pretty nasty and it should have a good hookup ratio. Uh, it also says this has super high castability, so you should be able to launch this thing pretty far, and it has a tight rolling action unlike any other jerkbait. Again, this is the Mega Bass Vision 110, and this thing is supposed to be the juice, so we'll see how it works this year. Thanks again for watching another video. I hope you enjoyed some of these lures. Please click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I uh, still got about a month left, like I said, until this ice melts. So unfortunately, I won't have much footage, but hopefully here soon, I'll get some time in and can make a video on that new boat I got. I can't wait to show that off. It's got a little bit of work uh, that needs to be done to it, so I won't be fishing off of it right away. And I'll still be in the uh, little John boat for the start of the season. Uh, but anyway, can't wait to show that off. Again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.